the hour, News 8 Health Spotlight. Children under the age of five are the last group to remain ineligible for the coronavirus vaccine. And this could leave some parents concerned about bringing their children back to daycare for fear that the environment will fuel the spread. Wish TV medical reporter Dr. Mary Gillis spoke with one pediatrician about whether it's safe for these little ones to go back. Hi, Mary. For children six months through four years old, but a decision has yet to be made, leaving this group vulnerable to infection. I spoke with Dr. Elaine Cox, Chief Medical Officer at Riley Children's Health, who tells me what parents need to know about bringing their children back to daycare. Not less than two age range, it becomes really difficult, right? Because we can't mask babies um, and we can't even with toddlers always keep them to keep their secretions to themselves. So the best thing that we can do is really protect the workers in that space, right? Make sure that they're vaccinated, make sure that they're well, make sure that they're practicing great hand hygiene and great mask hygiene. Cox says this is called cocooning. It's characterized as protecting people around a certain vulnerable, vulnerable group. In this instance, it's the babies and toddlers. Cocooning prevents a COVID infection by proxy. She goes on to say if daycares have taken these precautions, this group should be shielded from COVID-19. Reporting from the studio, I'm Wish TV's medical reporter, Dr. Mary Gillis.